the next step after entering your business and social details into your site is most often that you're going to want to make cosmetic changes to your to your home page and other pages on your site and that is done through the Elementor page builder so once you're logged into your site you'll want to go in and actually visit your site itself and actually view the home page and from here what you want to be aware of is the edit with Elementor button and you'll have access to this button on any page that's designed of Elementor on your on your site so the most important thing to understand is that there's two different types of pages on your website. There are pages that were purely built with Elementor, and these are your home page and pages like your specials or about us page and an FAQ page. Then the remainder of your pages are pages that are generated by IO. You don't have to create them and they are automatically stay in sync with inflatable office and they are created by inflatable office plugin on your site. These pages can also be uh, edited with Elementor, but they do work completely differently. So we're going to cover the differences later. The biggest thing to know for now is that once you're on your home page, you click Edit with Elementor, and this will bring you to the Elementor page editor itself. Once you're in here, it's all drag and drop, and everything is built using what is called widgets. That means that what you see over here is there's just simply different kinds of blocks that you can build your website out of. Things like headings, images, blocks of text, videos, buttons, and so on and so forth. And so not only can you use this to modify your site, you can also use it to add on to your site. But for the most part, for those of you just getting started out, the biggest things that you're going to want to do is just make some very simple changes. And it's very, very simple to do that on every type of element. You simply click on it, and this will bring up a screen that is particular to that type of widget. And for the most part, they're extremely self-explanatory. The other things to be really aware of otherwise is the fact that there are uh, some other buttons you should be aware of. The page settings for your whole entire website can be found down here on the settings button. This will actually bring up for the whole entire site or for your whole entire homepage. So uh, many of you have themes that have a universal background uh, and that will always be found here in the style section of page settings on your homepage. Everything else, however, will be found by simply clicking in that element. And that's all there is to it. That's the basic building blocks for beginning to change your site.